Hey you, I'm Anna, and let's talk about how to make a unique YouTube end screen, or outro card as they're also called, and we're going to be using a free version of Canva to make it just the way you envisioned it. And I'm leaving all the links down below so that you can get these templates that we're creating right now and follow along, or just get them and adjust them to your liking afterwards. Let's go. Your personalized end screen will help you gain those viewers and subscribers because you're basically telling them, hey, do this next. And some of them will listen to you and watch more of your videos and subscribe to your channel, which again is kind of part of YouTube SEO optimization. And if you don't know how to optimize your videos to rank in search, check out this video. Now let's take a look inside the YouTube studio and see what kind of options we have so we can build around that. So after you've uploaded your video, did all of your SEO optimization and it's ready to go, you can add your end screen. As you can see, I already added mine. And if we play it, goodbye. Oh, and before you go, check out these playlists. We don't really have an end screen prepared. It's just an artwork that I did during this video. So here we have the subscribe. If people hover over it, they can click on it and subscribe. Then we have a link to my Patreon and two related videos. I just deleted all of them and this is what you're going to be seeing. There is the few templates you can use. You can also do it manually by hitting element and then choosing a video. For example, you can do our most recent upload, best for viewer or choose a specific video. If we hover over it, you can see that we can't exit the frame that YouTube put for us. So this is very important for making our own outro template. And we can also scale them if we wanted to, but there's also a certain size that it can go up to. Another element we can add is playlist, which is the same kind of square as this. Then we can have a subscribe and this is a circle and we can't really change the size of it, but we can put it wherever we like. And finally, if you want to do a channel or a link, you can also do that. But I think most of us will want to put a subscribe and a video. So let's make that happen. I'm going to go to Canva. I'm using the paid Canva version, but whatever I'm doing today, I'll make sure to use all of the free resources so you can download it for yourself for free and use these templates. So in the search bar in Canva, after you log in, you can type in YouTube. And if we scroll, we'll already find some pre-made templates like this one or like this one. So I'm going to click on that. And this is an animated outro. So if we hit play, now that's pretty cool. So in the templates, here's a YouTube outro. And if I press see all, there are so many different choices to choose from and to create our own as well. So I'm going to leave this one for now. I'm going to hit plus right now. I want to make three different templates with you. One of them will be for two videos plus subscribe. One of them will be one video plus subscribe. And the third one will be one video with animated background. So to make it easier and more fun, I decided to select three different YouTube niches to work for. So the first one, we're going to do a gaming YouTube channel. And let's say the color is purple. That works. What we need to start with is understanding where everything will go. And I'm not going to try to guess it. It's all already here. So what I will do is delete this page. And instead, I'm going to press on this one because it already gives me the sizing of the videos and of the subscribe. So I'm just going to select them. Command C for copy, Command V for paste. And this is the size we're going for. As you can see, this one's already animated. But what if I don't want it to be? I can go to elements and go to shapes and just pick a circle. Made it the same size. Now I'm going to delete the animated one because I don't really like it. So here we have the basic idea. We have the two videos and the subscribe. This is where we're going to place our end cards, but let's make it more fun. For example, we can add a background or we can add some elements that make together a background. So in the elements, I'm going to look up 
pattern. And I will select free because I'm going to try to make everything with the free version. So there are different patterns we can choose from and then we just play around. For most of these patterns, you can also adjust the colors. And to make it easier for me to see, I'm actually going to fill those squares. Now we can add some fun tags to tell people exactly what they should be doing next. So in the text section, you can pick any font, any color you like, but you can also use some font combinations. And there it is. Here we have a very simple end card that is so unique because I can guarantee nobody else has this exact one with the same stickers and shapes and colors and writing. And that's how you make a unique one for yourself. Now I'm gonna go make two more and play a little time lapse for you so you can see how repetitive this process is. Don't forget there is a link down below that you can follow along and try it for yourself and you will learn it's so quick, it's very easy. We went from this idea to this unique thumbnail. Now let's make one for subscribe and a video and nothing else. And we will do this for a travel channel. Now, this is a very simple one. It took me, what, like five minutes? I just added a place for the profile picture, a place for the next video and some text. I don't know the brand of your YouTube channel, the style, the colors you love, the things you want to do with it. It's kind of difficult, but I hope that these can be a starting point for you. Actually, before we go, I want to show you how to animate these. So I'm going to choose this one because it's kind of like the most fun one, I guess. And let's see how we can animate it. We can click animate here and there are a few ones. These ones are premium, so you can't do them unless you have the premium subscription, but you can still do these ones. I kind of like the tumble one, so I'm just going to click that and now it is animated. So to download these, we're going to click download and then you don't have to select all three pages because you're probably going to be using one of them. So because this one's animated, we can download it as MP4 video. So let me click download. And the other two are JPEGs, so we can download them as a JPEG or a PNG. It doesn't really matter. So the next step would be to add these to your video at the end of your video. We have up to 20 seconds for the end screen. I usually use about 10 to 15 seconds, but you have to add them to the video before you publish it. You can't really add it after you've already set up your video. For my video editing software, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So right now the footage is offline, the one I was using for this, but basically this was my whole editing process. And then at the end, I added the end screen. You've probably already seen it on my videos. It's an also very simple animation. So now instead of doing this end screen, what we would do is we would upload the one we just downloaded. I'm just dragging and dropping it here. And now when I hit play, That's pretty cool. Uh, of course, you, you don't have to use the same music that was available to us. So right now it's pretty short and sweet, but if you wanted to, you could have selected a longer than five second animation and then it would be longer. And if we wanted to use an image, we can also drag them here 
and now without any animation it would just show up right after your video you can add some music you can add some other stuff if you want to i do like adding music at the end but i can make it as long or as short as i want because it's just an image and then after you export that, you can add your end screen. So I'm going to upload the outro test that I created just so I can show you how to actually add the elements at the end after you've added them to your video. Okay, now we can add an end screen template right here under video elements. Okay, so here we have our little video and for the watch next, right? You just click element and then a video or a playlist and move it right where you want it. And that's it when this pops up when the end screen is here it pops up the same with this you can add the video another video and a subscribe since you have the ultra ready all you have to do is just place them in the correct categories and then it just shows up for where it has to be Listen, I know this might look like a lot, but honestly, you can just get the free Canva version and they already have these templates. The reason why I think it's so cool that you can edit them and make them unique, right? So they're like your brand, your channel. They fit for you and what you're trying to deliver and the colors and all of that good stuff. So I hope this maybe taught you something or at least inspired you to start creating your own and templates and you only really need one or two good ones for all of your videos for the rest of time so i think it is worth the effort to just play around and create something cool if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content thanks for watching and before you go watch my end screen and the next video